hello everyone welcome back to another episode and in this video tutorial i will talk about the command which i have got and which is about how to optimize the project variables and uh, how to do it so uh, in our uh, youtube channel you can already uh, you can see that sfs and dragonfly abc improved and pso and all that optimization algorithms uh, explanation is already done but the main issue uh, after you watch that videos or you learn how to do that the main issue when you want to implement that optimization algorithm into your project file the main issue which you face initially is that is that about how to pick up the project variables and if you pick up the project variables correctly you can utilize the whole optimization algorithm code and you can achieve your required objective function and if you are looking for a uh, matlab code for uh, for different kind of optimization algorithms i can suggest two websites if the first one is the yarpis uh, you can uh, see a lot of uh, cultural alg algorithms and different and the second website i suggest is say the Mirajali. and here you can see uh, the uh, moth flame optimizer and a lot of stuff uh, here you can see so how to utilize the project variables so here i uh, have choose three projects different projects so uh, uh, it will be clear to you how to pick up the project variables so initially in that case uh, we have to pick how many variables uh, we uh, actually need so in the in that case uh, here i have made two choices the first choice is uh, how many dgs uh, you want to consider so dg uh, the persons uh, which are not familiar with the dg dg is uh, you can uh, say that uh, we have to inject one uh, value if we have one dg we have to uh, input uh, one value into the system and uh, if we want to choose two dgs uh, we have to inject two numbers into our objective function which i will explain a bit later and in case of three dgs we have to uh, inject three numbers okay let me show you so uh, here this is the uh, load flow program uh, let me skip that for a while so so if i pick three dgs and here is the second choice so in the, in your case it will be uh, only one uh, or it can be two or it can be three cases so uh, if i skip that uh, for example if i skip that so it means that number of dgs uh, if i want to inject four numbers then uh, uh, the decision variables will be fours will be four and uh, if i want to choose three dgs uh, then i have decision variable three but here in this case i have two conditions so first one is the picking the number of dgs uh, let's consider i pick up the two So uh, let's suppose I have considered the two. Okay, let me skip that. And enter the type of the DGs. And if I want to choose real power only, means I want to inject only real power into the system. It means I need uh, uh, three DGs. I mean three sizes and three locations. So in that case, our decision variables will be six. Uh, means if I want to choose three DGs, so uh, three will be their sizes, and three will be the locations. So in that case, our decision variables will be six, and if I want to choose four DGs, and uh, four will be the sizes and four will be the locations so so in that case the cn variables will be eight and uh, uh, this will be same for reactive power only 
uh, means if we only only want to inject real power it will be the three numbers three sizes which we have to inject and in that case we have uh, exactly the same three sizes and three location but in this case which is the real and reactive power injection the case will be different so in that case uh, if we want to consider three dgs so locations will be three but we have to inject at the same locations real and reactive so the sizes will be the six three sizes for real and three sizes for reactive so in that case we have three dgs three will be the locations and three will be the real sizes and three will be the reactive sizes so this will be three plus three six and three so in that case we have nine decision variables so let me show you that by program so uh, this is the case uh, which is case one uh, and uh, uh, this is the type of dg means case one and case two is same case one is just representing the real power only and the case two will be the reactive power only so in that case in uh, case one and case two if we have three dgs we have uh, uh, decision variables six and if we have four dgs we have four uh, multiplied by two which is you, you can see here uh, will be eight decision variables four will be the locations and four will be the sizes let me left click here click on continue change folder okay so in that case if i want to choose three uh, dgs uh, so three will be the locations and three will be the sizes okay uh, let me consider uh, the case one click on enter so we are entering into this case so it means that uh, we have uh, uh, nvar uh, which you can see uh, right over there six so we have decision variable six three will be the location and three will be next three will be the sizes okay here you can see that we have uh, uh, our lower bounds and here I am setting the values uh, so, uh, this is the lower bound size this is the minimum size and this is the uh, maximum size for the DG so uh, the minimum size uh, uh, for three DGs will be three zeros and uh, this one will be the uh, three time uh, three thousand three thousand three thousand and three thousand for the third uh, variable so uh, this is the uh, location uh, for DG uh, which is minimum is 1 and maximum is 33 so this will also be uh, 3 times 1's and this is the 3 times 33 because this loop is going to uh, run for the number of the DG's so uh, let me uh, here you can see uh, we are putting uh, and right over here you can see that yeah. So it will be three and this loop have to work uh, for three time. This is the last time. Let me click on start. Okay, we are out of the loop. And here you can see that we have set up our uh, minimum uh, uh, variable minimum. Uh, we have set up our lower and uh, upper bounds. Uh, so these are uh, the three zeros representing the minimum size for the three DGs and this is the 3000 maximum uh, size uh, for that DGs and uh, next three are the locations which is minimum as one and maximum as 33 so you can represent uh, it in a different way or you can even uh, if you are new to that uh, uh, setting up the decision variable or lower upper bounds you can write it uh, uh, manually just like this one now for example if you want to choose I just want so uh, initially uh, go with that no need to uh, worry about that is it a problem it was a problem with the keyword so you can uh, just write this way that you have the minimum and maximum just leave uh, this loop so this loop is just for uh, 
uh, better understanding and uh, for the different operations when uh, we have choose three dgs four dgs two dgs uh, this loop will automatically work so you can even write manually and go with that i will suggest you to go with that and uh, meanwhile i already have made a video on uh, the basic operation uh, how uh, matlab how you can improve your basic understanding about uh, the matlab program the video is uh, right over just a moment here you can see that mastering matlab basic so here you can see uh, and learn more about the basics of the MATLAB okay and uh, the third case uh, which is multiplying it with the number three so as I show he here we have three locations three will be the real sizes and three will be the uh, reactive sizes so let me show you that too let me uh, click on save and click on okay let me choose three and uh, let me choose the third case so uh, in this case we have to inject uh, both real and reactive powers into our system so uh, here 3 multiplied by 3 this will be the 9 and this loop will run for again for 3 times but there is an addition of this thing uh, this and this one okay so uh, this is the load bound size real size and this is the load bound reactive size of the DG and uh, uh, similarly we have the locations lower bound locations of the dg and the lower bound oh, yeah this is uh, there's some mistake and uh, uh, one of uh, this one uh, lower bound size let me make it reactive and then it real and this is the uh, location so this is the location this will be the another size so right over there let me uh, uh, go out of this loop uh, let me three and three continue, continue so here you can see that we have nine decision variables so that's how you can pick up the decision variables so we have six sizes and three locations right over there in our upper bound we have six sizes and we have three locations and uh, uh, next uh, after setting up the lower and upper bound for our variables which is the minimum and uh, variable maximum we have to inject that variables into our uh, into our uh, uh, program into our optimization algorithm so initially we have unifriend we have uh, initialize the values to these uh, number of variables uh, so as per uh, var size let me show you that so this is exactly the same uh, means number of decision variables so we have uh, to create ram random numbers here and after that when that random numbers are created we have uh, to inject that numbers into the uh, initial particles and then and then that initial particles uh, will go into the objective function or into the load flow program so in load flow program here we have three cases because initially we have created three cases so uh, recently i'm uh, going with the uh, real and reactive powers so right over here this is the case three so in that uh, real and reactive power injection we are injecting that powers into our uh, load flow program and into the variables pg qg and uh, which uh, later on these variables will be incorporated or used into the load flow program and that's uh, how it works so now uh, let me uh, explain the another program and this is program uh, this program is uh, 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 use the let me so this uh, program is about the genetic algorithm so I actually I want uh, you to explain that all the optimization algorithms have uh, uh, same scenario and uh, initial part of uh, 
decision variables and upper and lower bound setting for the variables uh, is exactly same and you can utilize uh, all that stuff so here uh, we have uh, nvar uh, which is a multiplying number of digits by two uh, by two because we have to represent the location and uh, the sizes and the, for that person which are not familiar with the dg or are generic uh, just you can uh, in our in our dg case uh, when we uh, have a dg1 uh, we have two of its function its location and its size but in that case for example if it's not dg if it's uh, xy or something else then, then in, in that case you have different number of uh, utilization of that variable uh, location size and uh, it, it will be let's say x and it's uh, let's say it's y so in that case if we have four then you have to multiply four by the number of the digits and it can be one in that case so uh, after that you have uh, here is a, a loop uh, but, uh, by which you can uh, set the minimum and maximum but it's not compulsory uh, if you have a different case uh, you can write it manually and go with uh, further go with that and here is another ps of alg uh, algorithm and uh, again uh, this this one is about only the injection of the number of the dgs uh, not with the cases or the uh, type of the dgs so in that case we have only uh, one loop so that's how it works and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video and if you want me to explain anything else or any other objective uh, you may ask in the comment section and I will provide the explanation. Please like, like the video and thanks for watching.